welcome to Aero Sentinels. Um, here is uh, probably our last hunt that we well last hunt as well as last field um, work with any rifle. Um, you know we haven't gone out since then. Um, it is now um, April 2020, and um, this pretty much was our last time we ever went out on the field and um, this one is a, uh, you know, I, I could have taken several shots here but I'm just waiting. Um, there's actually uh, five that I saw um, here um, but this one is the less uh, skittish so I kind of been trailing them for a good uh, um, 50 yard radius. Um, I did see them earlier on the evening about 7 p.m. Um, but there was, uh, they, they weren't the same, uh, uh, I guess, herd. There, there, there was a, a bigger sow um, and a few little followers, um, you know, piglets. Uh, and I thought, okay, well, there's activity. So, uh, you know, I, I started to roam around track and kind of um, feel my way around uh, where they frequent. Um, this is the one of the um, biggest uh, intersections on the trail. So I know that all of the intersect, you know, all the trails intersect at this area pretty much. So that's why I frequent around this area, especially uh, knowing that I had one, uh, two sightings already of the biggest one I've ever seen in this area. Um, the one that I've been wanting to uh, see um, and take down, but he hasn't given me um, opportunity. He's usually uh, well behind bushes or I can hear him but he's um, you know I, I can hear him but I can't see him um, so you know he's smart um, he's definitely been uh, one of my uh, biggest most elusive um, hunts so but out of the three that I saw earlier on um, there was five that I saw, um, but there were a uh, total, I believe, um, not including the little piglets, but there's definitely three that I saw with this one, Pro possibly a fourth, but I couldn't see him or her, um, I could hear, but, um, you know, this one wasn't as skittish, so I'm kind of just taking my time, observing, um, with you know, from our experience, normally the less skittish one, um, when things are settled, the others tend to come around afterwards. Um, you know, five within five minutes to ten minutes or so, they start to come around. Um, so that's what I've been waiting for. Um, and this one, um, you'll hear me kind of, you know, making signals to it just to test and kind of see um, if she reacts. Because normally sometimes they do run off a little bit then they'll come back. And when they do come back, they bring the rest with them. And, and, and that's what I kind of been wanting to do, but I was a little bit hesitant in making bigger noise. Um, so uh, I'm kind of debating here. I'm, I'm like, okay, it's getting late. Um, should I? take this one out because there's one um, this one out of the three or four that I saw or four three that I definitely saw the fourth I uh, heard um, but I out of the three that I definitely saw this one is the second one it's about 90-ish pounds um, the other one is approximately um, you know 105, 110 pounds um, size, so uh, slightly bigger than this one. Um, the other one out of this three is a lot smaller. 
um, the piglet size, uh, you know, uh, probably three month old maybe, I'm not sure, um, but definitely much smaller than these uh, two, uh, but this one is the one that gave me most uh, opportunity, uh, you can see here, just sniffing around, eating, uh -huh. Um, I, I threw some uh, cornets on the on the ground. You know they they love the smell. It picks up, they pick it up real quick, and so and it's good snack. Um, but when I want to settle around an area and kind of just stay there, I, I tend to um, pour some of the uh, cornet um, ranch or barbecue flavor, um, and. They get attracted to it real quick and um, you can see here she's kind of lingering um, eating so um, and well i lose a little bit of patience uh, i think i've waited enough and i take a shot here um, i i pick my placement this is the 80s uh 25 cal um, with the oil bond so i i, I take her down um, so this is uh, where I, you know, pick her brain real quick and bam, down. And that's it. See y'all later.